Now, after your victory in Monza, you told us this race is going to be harder for Red Bull. Tell us why. I, I think we just um, are not as competitive as other tracks. I think the street circuits are a little bit tougher for our car. Um, I still think that we can do a good job, but it will be uh, yeah very tight. I think we made some very good progress the last few races, so I think uh, yeah, looking forward massively to to these coming weekends, especially this one, you know, because um, here we know that Saturday, if it goes well, um, it can go really well. So there is nothing in the middle, you know, in Singapore. It's either really a strong result or it can be really painful. Two-time winner here in Singapore. What do you need from your car to win this race? Um, a lot of things, I guess. Uh, you to see the checker flag first. It's a very demanding race. Um, uh, everything runs a little bit hotter than normal. Um, the walls are very close, as, as all the street circuits. And uh, yeah, you need to have that confidence in the car that uh, you need to, to have as well in Monaco and, and Baku. So let's see if we can build that confidence from um, the free practice and, uh, and get a good race. We have no idea what what's in store for us up ahead. Just trying to prepare the best we can and um, and see what that new section is going to be like as well. Huh? That, that new section should bring us all a little bit closer. There's less, less corners for Red Bull to get too far ahead. <laughs> How much confidence has it given you and the team that strong result in Monza? And I know there are different circuits coming up, but it feels like there's a real buzz around the team at the minute. Yeah, for sure it helps. Uh, confidence for everyone. But at the same time, I think we've learned that this year we need to be realistic and that our performance fluctuates a lot circuit to circuit. So I think we're, I, I'm hoping we can see another Monza in Singapore, but also being realistic. Uh, there's been other high downforce. That was hard. That was cheeky. <laughs> um, you had the slap noise there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there's been other other circuits, and in high downforce, we've struggled, and Singapore is one of them. Guys, I'll go let you catch catch him back up and hand I it back to him. <laughs> I don't have the need to touch anyone's. <laughs> yeah, I, I I just love the um, city tracks in general. So Monaco here and Baku are my three favorite tracks of the season, and here being by night, there's just something special with it. Uh, very warm too. Um, I really like the four corners that have been taken off, but at the same time, it might help overtaking. So if we are giving up these four corners for more overtaking, I will take it. Uh, so uh, yeah, let's see how it feels uh, tomorrow. Yeah, last year we had a really fast car and unfortunately um, didn't make the most of it during the weekend. But I think it's so close at the moment between ourselves, Ferrari and, um, and McLaren, Aston Martin are, are fluctuating in performance. Hopefully we can close the gap slightly on, on Red Bull here on the high downforce circuit. So I think it is that battle for, for P2 on the road, um, but you're gonna have to nail every single detail because it's gonna be by the smallest of margins. It's always tricky coming into the weekend, kind of knowing, I guess we have our expectations and um, we were a little bit better in Monza than maybe we were expecting, uh, especially in the race side of things, which is a, a good step. Uh, but this definitely suits us more than we did in Monza and kind of falls back in line with uh, probably one of our better tracks that we've been to lately. So I want to have some hopes and say we can have a good strong result, um, be best of the race and things like that. Street circuits normally is very close, you know, whether it was maybe not so much Baku, but Monaco is always extremely close from Q1 to Q3. So um, I don't think I can ever be confident in saying anything at the minute, but uh, it'll be one of our better tracks and I'm confident we can have a good result no matter what. Yeah, I I'm always enjoy coming back here. It's a lot of fun to drive around here. Um, you know, it's a great track, a night race, which is uh, kind of nice. You know, get to sleep in a little bit in the morning. So, um, yeah, it's a fun place to come racing. Now, it was a difficult race for the team at Monza. Tell us why Singapore is going to be better. Um, yeah, it's we expect it to be slightly better. Um, I mean, it's obviously very different conditions, very different track characteristic, more more corners. Um, we yeah know why we struggled in Monza and, and some of the weaknesses. And uh, I think it's probably on paper is a bit closer to a track like Zandvoort where we showed um, slightly more competitiveness. But uh, yeah, it's not going to be night and day. Um, but definitely we prepared ourselves in the best way possible and um, and I hope we win in the, in the mix for the points. So are you confident in the, reli in the reliability of the car this weekend? Yeah, I mean, we, we have to be. Obviously, we had an issue as well here in Singapore last year um, with the reliability. We couldn't finish the race, but 
Um, yeah, it is a challenge uh, here for the car as well uh, as for the human that is inside it. Um, but, you know, we've learned over the years um, on what to do. We've learned over Monza. Uh, each time, you know, something like that happens, we put on process to avoid uh, these things happening. And, and we hope that, uh, you know, that's not going to be repeating here. Yeah, obviously there was uh, a couple of things that, that didn't go to plan in Monza. Um, but, you know, I think you know, that was a while ago now in, in F1 season's terms. So, um, no, ready for, for Singapore. A new track for me this weekend. Um, you know, of just a, a very different atmosphere and environment. Um, so yeah, easier to focus on, on the new things. Hopefully we're competitive here, hopefully a bit stronger uh, than Monza or at least suffering a bit less uh, in certain areas. So um, no, I'm looking forward to it. It's one of them circuits which uh, you wouldn't really want our cars to drive around in the way that it's bumpy, it's twisty, it's hot, um, tire degradation is high. The recipe isn't great for our car, but um, we proved it in Zandvoort that actually we, we had a good car in, in, in a high downforce configuration. I think um, I'd be very surprised if we can get another top eight finish, but at the same time, what would you use this weekend? Use this weekend to experiment a little bit um, for next year, but also just try some stuff out, see if we can um, unlock a bit more potential in this package. You no, know, coming here I feel more optimistic than, than recently, high downforce package uh, with the new front wing that we're you know, still kind of exploring. And, and learning about, so feel uh, you know cautiously optimistic that it, it can be all right here. The question mark is going to be our upgrades. You know we have a decent upgrade here, um, which hopefully will give us a bit more performance. Um, I think on, on paper, otherwise it's again tough to tough to judge. But uh, but it is it was really good to get the point, even though it's only one point. But it's uh, for us, it's um, it means a bit of progress. So um, yeah, of course, hoping for more more this weekend. And how big is that upgrade? What it what is it? It's a new new floor, basically, and uh, it's it's pretty decent step in theory. Um, so I'm, I'm sure that's going to help us to to fight for more points. Yeah, firstly, very happy to be obviously continue with Alfa Romeo team, and I feel like uh, the work has been done in the past, and also the trust between the team, also from my side, is being extremely let's say well and transparent together. So just very happy to be finally announced there in Singapore. I think last year I announced here as well to continue for this season. So yeah, really happy and exciting for what the team is heading off and uh, to be taking more into this project, you know, for the future. So yeah, hopefully that uh, we can sign off the weekend in, in a good way. I think uh, all the all the um, I would say details are there. I think we bring in a couple of upgrades which we expecting quite good. And last two races we been always fighting close to the point. So um, yeah, I just need a bit of more performance to be able to fight consistently in top 10. So I think if, we, if this uh, up, upgrade works, I think I don't have much uh, question marks that we cannot fight in, the out, in top 10. So I'm feeling optimistic, yeah. Yeah, I think we were, you know, uh, the, the weakest that we've been this year, I think, in Monza. Um, super difficult for us in both, uh, you know, qualifying and, and the race. So yeah, tough one to, to swallow, but uh, you know we know that we have been lacking in development throughout the year. I think we started the year in a in a decent spot. You know we were able to to squeeze into the top ten once in a while, and uh, you know other teams have just made bigger improvements. First time racing in Singapore. How excited are you? Yeah, definitely. I, I love a, a night race to be honest, and I um, feel like it's a track. Uh, when I first started playing the F1 game a long time ago, this was the track I always came to. Uh, I don't know why, but um, it's it's exciting, and I've always wanted to drive here, so I think it's going to be a, a special weekend. When I was a kid, I think because it was a night race, it was something that I always really liked. Um, and my dad, he promised me like every year from when I was seven years old that he'd take me to the Singapore Grand Prix, and we never could go. So, um, yeah, this weekend he's actually coming, so um, both my parents, I'm taking them this time.